Guys and girls, we have arrived at the big one. The massive title for Nintendo this holiday gaming season. Maybe the biggest game yet for this year. And one that will undoubtedly be a massive seller and hopefully a massively fun time. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force on the biggest Nintendo day of the season. It's Pokemon Day, baby. Sword and Shield are here and we are diving in for an extra deep look to see if Gen 8 is where it's at, to see if this will make the Switch shine bright for Pokemon. We've been waiting for a console-specific Pokemon for a while. We got one last year in Let's Go, but it was a retread, so it wasn't really the game we've been waiting for, but this might be it, and I'm excited to investigate together. Gonna be bringing you guys a big look at the game, the full game we got here, playing Pokemon Sword. If you guys want to see more, definitely smash that like button. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite Pokemon of all time. Mine is Charizard. Your turn. I'm sure there'll be a lot of Charizards, but let me give you my quick reason. It's because Charizard was the card I wanted most. I was super into the card game. I was in fourth grade when the card game was brand new and just brilliantly popular and had the brilliant first set. I got Charizard from a Walgreens on the way home from my Uncle John's house, and it changed my standing within my friend group, at least for a couple days. I was the cool kid, and that felt great. I hope this game feels great. I hope it does well. I'd love to just bring a bunch of Pokemon to the channel, but I'll let you guys decide what you think of it. Here we go. We got to pick our language first off. English is what we choose, picking our character. There's a lot of customization this time around. I mean, I'm hunting for Impidimps, obviously, very early. Gotta go find some Yampers. Um, that probably looks the most like me. My name is Zach. That's what it's always been. Probably what it always will be. And I think we're ready to go. Registration complete. Your progress in this game will automatically be saved with the auto-save function, which I believe can be disabled. But we'll see how it rolls. And with that, our Pokemon adventure begins on YouTube. As it should, right? In 2019? Oh, how I wish voice acting was here. It's not yet, but maybe one day. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. That's what I'm honestly most excited for. The wild area and the new Mons. There's supposed to be a bunch of them. No spoilers, we're gonna have to find them for ourselves. And the wild area, just seeing all the new guys pop up and wander around, like, that's so exciting. It was obviously very cool to see, you know, Pikachus and Bulbasaurs and Ponytas running around in Let's Go in the actual field. But to see, like, a new guy we don't even know who it is, like, that is what has me so excited here. Welcome to the world. The game looks really good, by the way. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature, beautiful cities, and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive because of Pokemon. Dude, look at that elephant, man. I don't even know his name. Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. Ma 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 ma. You think voice acting comes next game? Or probably Gen 9, actually, right? Maybe never. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete, we call Pokemon trainers. Dude, look at the scope of that stadium. About to get some gigant to max guys in here. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is the real Slim Shady. No, it's actually Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. This dude's like the freaking Master of Ceremonies from Hunger Games. At least that's what it reminds me of. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's Exhibition Match! In walks Leon, or in teleports Leon. This is the dude. Three little eyelashes and a Charizard. Oh man, a trainer after my own heart. Who is he fighting against? Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you here today. You know I don't lose battles, Rahin. Raihan? Raihan? Charizard Dynamax! Everyone's like, oh my god. This has to be a public safety concern. That thing is huge. It's so freaking awesome. 
Pokemon Sword, what's up? That's your intro. Oh yeah, and then it starts on Wooloo. Where there's a Wooloo, there's a way. I, th I mean, so far, visually, I'm like, this is the coolest looking Pokemon ever. There's me playing Switch. Oh no, is that, it's not a Switch, right? Is it a phone? Oh, because he's watching it on, like, PokeTube, YouTube. Hello, hello? This dude's probably got a British accent. We are in Galar. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Should I? That you flash new phone, Zach. Nah, I probably shouldn't do that. Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Is Leon, or Lee, what all the cool kids call Leon? Hop, didn't expect to see you here today. Dear, isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Zack. Never mind watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. His brother is Leon? No way. Come with me, Zack. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. He's speaking with some, uh, some definite English intonations. This is us. We're ready to get up. Oh, man. It's pretty cool looking. It's pretty freaking cool looking. What's up? How you doing, Munchlax? Did not mean to wake you. Mother. Dude, we got a nice house. Also, our mom is pretty young. Rushing off in that state, Zach? Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I last saw it in your room. And don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. All right. So upstairs we go. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't want to go outside yet. I just want to try to find the staircase. It's not here. Stairs in the kitchen? Stairs in the po- Oh, I guess it's a, a one-story house. You grab your dad's old bag. More like a Death Stranding bag. Dude, right? Looks like a carton of something. I don't know what's in there. But about to be our storage solution for everything. Open the X menu by pressing the X button. You can save, town map, check the adventure guide. Here is our wonderful menu system. A little Rotom phone. We're here in, uh, in, in Postwick. Gonna make our way to Wedgehurst. Eventually, Route 2. And maybe a uh, Route 2 and maybe this mansion. The meetup spot, East Lake. We got a uh, Motorstoke over here. Galar Mine number 2. We've got Hammerlock. We've got a uh, Turf Fields. And where's the wild area? It's not on here. Okay. Um, anything in our bag right now? We've got a potion. And we've got... A fishing, a fishing rod and an adventure guide. Nice, okay. Hop is waiting outside. So check it out. All right, we better go, better go. It's a cool looking map. I like the art. <laughs> Look at our little Pikachu. And a Switch. The latest video game console is sitting by the telly. Can we play it? We cannot play it. It's a plush of the Pokemon Pikachu. It's super soft to touch. It's a brand new telly. Your mom bought it so you could use for your game console. Huh? What a nice mom. Um, anything else in our room? Eevee. You think there's gonna be a new Eevee? Super comfy bed, simple desk. Alright, well. Goodbye, mother. Oh, don't you look a treat. I knew that- oh, dude. Mom, that's a little embarrassing. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going to the forest for the two of you. Alright. Out we go. Hop is waiting for you outside. The load screen is a map. Ready for adventure. We've seen this house many times in the trailers. Double trouble Wulu action. I will say, just in full honesty, like, is pretty jaggy looking right now. And I am playing Don. It's a little rough around the edges, like, quite literally. Alright. Ha ha ha. Have a look at you, Zach. That old bag looks like it could pull you over. At least we know that it should hold anything Lee might bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Make way for the brother. 
Wulu wants to get away from us. A Wulu? But what's it doing there? This man is trying to get that out of here. Clearly. Rolling up. And trying to tumble its way like a snowball straight down the hill or up the hill, I guess. Hey, you silly Wulu. I see what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering weald. Meh. Sheeps will never learn. Now that, that's taken care of. How about it, Zach? Let's race. But I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? Also, I'm stuck on a load screen, so you know how. You got the advantage, but look at that. Butterfree flying high. Wooloo rolling around. There's some other birds off in the distance. And there's this fine chap. The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Oh yeah, because we're going to see people in the wild area from max raid battles or other sorts of interactions. Hey, Zach, Hop was looking for you, you know? But no need to go to the next town to find him. He lives right next door. All right. Wooloo's block the way. And Hop is probably here to stay. House of Hop? We got a smart fridge, it looks like. Mum, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you brought along Zack. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yeah, that's probably for the best. You've got to come with, Zack. You've still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. Out and about. Now, one of the things I heard about Pokemon is that the opening area, like the tutorial and stuff, is very abbreviated, very respectful of the player. There's a grandma just chilling by the cupboard, lifting weights, getting buff, beefy grandma. Charizard Machamp Gengar. This must be Lee's room with all the cool Pokemon, and he's training to play some Poke football and uh, make the Olympics. Anyhow... That's one of the things I'm most excited for, is also this, like, abbreviated tutorial that everything's, like, streamlined and they, you know, kind of just make sure that you're ready to get into the action. So we'll have to find out, because normally this is where it would all start slowing down. Hello, Grandpa? Is this just a random Grandpa, or is this his Grandpa? To hop, his brother is a superhero. Okay, there he is. Look at all these trophies he's won. Dang, dude. He's a champ. He's a G. He's a champion G, a Galar champion, a G champ. Now the Wooloos have cleared the way, but Hop is not yet. Let's get a move on! Only remember, Zack, wild Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Zack, so we'll still clear of the tall grass as we go. Nice and nifty. Crazy music. Gets calm. Because it's Route Freaking 1. Dude, I need a po- I want a battle, but I ain't got no Pokemon. Alright, let's go and meet Lee at the station. No wandering to the grass, you dummy. You're gonna get your bag stolen. It, sh it sure looks like Lee already has a welcome party. Here at the station. Lee, Lee, he's our man. If he can't do it, no one can. Taller than a Charizard. Mightier than a Machamp. Purpler than a Gengar. And fiercer than a feral gator, it's Leon, the champion of the world! Or at least Galar! Hello, hello, Wedges. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. This guy deserves a British accent. It's our unbeatable champion! Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest! Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll carry on training up your Pokémon and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it! We've all been working on our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Lee! But that chart of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on! Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokémon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me! My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. British Charizard says, Grawrrrr. British Charizard Lee! 
Hop! So, my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated so long, Ellie. And these bright eyes over here. I've got it. You must be Zack, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan, too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee, and you, Zack. Bet I could beat the both of you back home. That hop, always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Where are we going to get our Pokemon from if it's not a... Not a professor. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. He, dude, he's like, look at all his advertisements, all of his sponsorships. He's like a representative for the whole freaking country. Man, oh man. Well, do you hear that? Sound like we're taking a bath for a second. Bath time. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Zack and me Pokemon? You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Oh, God. It's already time to choose a starter. <sighs> Sobble, Grookey, Square Bunny, what do we do? Take a good look, you two. Oh, yeah. Here they come. Grass-type Pokemon, Grookey! Fire-type Pokemon, Score Bunny! And the water-type Pokemon, Sobble. Goodness gracious sakes alive. What the heck are we going to do? I don't think it's the strongest trio of starters in the world. Definitely not. But their first forms, at least, are still kind of cute. Eager to see what it looks like from here. Oh, Score Bunny looking a little fierce. I'm normally a Fire-type fan. Sobble's pretty freaking cute, though. Grookey's got that goofy monkey stick. All right, line up, everyone. Dude, so polite. Which one will you choose? <sighs> Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and about to make the biggest decision of the game. Do we swallow a score bunny, soak up a sobble, or get groovy with grooging? Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. Oh my god. Which one do we want? They're so tiny. This is so tough. Again, my better judgment says score bunny. <sighs> Which do I go with? Yell it out. Shout it out. Mm, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with my history. I'm gonna go with my instinct. And I'm gonna rock the fire type. I feel like everybody has flown off Score Bunny. Sobble has soaked up a ton of fans. Grookey's grabbed his own gang. Does, does Score Bunny have any adoring players left? We're gonna grab him. Score Bunny is fire type. It's filled to bursting with fairy passion. You're set on Score Bunny? Heck yeah. Be decisive. That's how you make sure your Pokemon knows you're a match. Would you like to give him a nickname? No. Score Bunny will stay Score Bunny. He's got that nose strip to help him breathe, which is probably helpful. There's a lot of smoking over in Europe, so... Glad that we are... Oh yeah. Fist bump and we're unified. Fusing with Score Bunny to be the coolest team in all of Galar. So it'll be Score Bunny for ya. Nice one. I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. Dumb choice, Hop. You should have gone Sobble. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. Grookey's pretty cute, though. All the first forms are really cute. Not sure where it goes from there, but... Wooloo approves, so that's all we need. I bet you will be Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Zack. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. Sobble's like, I suck. No one chose me. Is, oh, Leon. Oh. Dude, Leon knows what's up. He hoodwinked us into getting himself a fire and water type. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. Look at this, dude. He's about to launch at us with multi-type attacks. All right, enough of all this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. In my head, Leon looks like he's like 35, but he's probably actually like 17, given how Pokemon works. Also, tacos! They've got a polka pad for the little baby guys to play on. Oh, it's kebabs, not tacos. Even better. Give me some Bengal barbecue up in here. Sounds like a delicious way to dine. 
Nighttime has arrived, and we're ready to go the next day. You spent the whole night with that new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on all right, understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of uh, love? Of course I have, Lee. Zack's made fast friends with his score bunny, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Zack might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion! Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself such a proper trainer already, Hulk? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? What if I said no? I was like, dude, adventure's over. Alright, believe, care, do those two things, and I'm certain you learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Suits all about good times, which leads me to believe he's eventually going to succumb to bad times. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home, too. Dude, this guy is in for such a world of hurt when we beat him easily, when we wipe the floor with his grooking. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Unfortunately, I know that's a lie. Oh, Hop. Hop on out of here. I mean, he really should have score bunny with a name like Hop. But he's gonna rock Wulu, actually, so it's not even gonna be grooking. That gets to get flame burrowed. Instead, it's time to make some fried lamb. Score bunny is hopping and bopping and ready to tackle. Score bunny use tackle. Kicking Wulu in the face for a critical hit. Nice way to start, baby. A critical hit! What kind of beginner's luck is that? Wulu is tackling as well, rolling in. And we are kicking out. Hop, hop, kick. Very nice. This is a, a really great battle where we just uh, alternate tackles until someone gives up. And luckily for us, I think Wulu will be the first to shout mercy. Wulu gets sucked back. Score Bunny gains XP. Feeling mega proud, but not mega evolved because, you know, just, just kind of a Dynamax guy. Score Bunny grew to level 6. He learned Ember and now. Oh, oh, Grookey. You should have come first. It's not over yet. I've added another trusted ally to my team. And here it comes. The chump. The chimp, I mean. But he's about to be a chump to my ember. Get burned. Straight out of your grassy knoll. Why? Wow. Did you already know about time advantages? Oh, this is where the tutorial uh, must recognize that I'm ready to go and doesn't need to teach me anything crazy. Although, our tackle against Wulu fared better against our Ember against Grookey, although it must be the level differential. Grookey's gonna scratch me. More like slap with the stick, or bonk, bonk with the stick. Grookey bonk? I like that. Grookey's definitely a bonker. Grookey's also fainted. Sayonara, sucker. That's our first win of many. Gaming XP, ready to go to level 7, taking all of our stats to a higher level. And defeating Hop. Poor guy. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that score bunny are too much. $400, because we're rich. Let's buy some Yeezys. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon, too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on the... Ha ah, no. Glad you didn't. Probably a level 50 Charizard and would have caused a catastrophe. Good effort out there, school bunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? Boom, 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 boom. And Zack, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him. Make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on. You've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You? Join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Gala region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's really what you want to do, though, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially a friend- what? what do you mean especially me? I just crushed him! Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. 
Our trainer's Pokédex helped them learn lots of things about all the Pokémon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know? It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokémon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokédexes, then. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokémon Research Lab for you and me, Zag. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. Oh, so we are perusing through the professor's lab. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokédex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You better go tell your mom that we're heading now. All right. Score bunny acquired. Hop defeated. Leon suspicious. What the heck? Zach, did you hear that just now? What is happening? Wooloo. Oh no, the gate's open. The Wooloo that was there. It's it's gone. Is this our Pokeball tutorial? It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Zach, what do you say? We gotta save it, right? Even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Zach. All right, don't need to tell my mom. Wait, should I go tell my mom? Okay, mom. Okay, the slumbering wheel is, I guess, I guess, no. no, no time to lose, no time to wait. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, and we're going straight out. Forget the Pokemon lab, forget mom, but not really mom. Sorry, I'll text you. Ooh, the slumbering wheel seems so romantic. That Wooloo, where do you think it got off to? If you tap into your heart, you'll find the Wooloo lurks just behind. The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Great. Uh-oh. Whoa! It's a... It's a Squove. It's a little chipmunk boy. I don't have any Pokeballs as far as I'm aware. I don't think I have anything in my bag. No, I don't. Time to burn this little buster down. Feel pretty bad about it, but, you know, it's how it has to go. Oh, yes, my favorite attack. Tell Whip, because it really doesn't matter all that much. Squovit takes a little bit of a burn. It's a very small burn, probably on his toe. We'll bring him out of here, though. I hate that we can't catch yet. But we do get to see a few Pokemon and learn about how... This game not only has Pokemon that you can spot, but it also does have random encounters. So there's a wide variety of ways that you'll encounter and run into Pokemon, which is kind of cool. Hop, hop, hop. Another wild battle. This time with a cute little Rookity. Score Bunny is ready to settle the score. Rookity is making me nervous. I mean, I'm dude, look at that guy's eyes. He's peering into my heart of hearts. He can tell every ex-girlfriend I've had and my hopes and dreams. I'm nervous. I'd be very afraid. Tantalized, but afraid. All right. Rookity. It's like chickadee, but a rookie. Pretty obvious in the naming convention there. We're going to smack you and shrink you straight into the earth. He's been wormified. Good grief. All right. Any other mons? It's interesting that there's none to see. Oh, is that Wooloo? Making a Wooloo sound? Or is that someone else? A Pokemon crying out. Oh, okay, hop. It's all you... It's, golly, goodness. It's another Squobit! Score Bunny is ready to rock. Oh, we're gonna, let's tackle this guy. Let's see, let's see how effective it is. Not very. Squobit is coming at us, the little tackle, for a whopping four damage. Critical hit for four damage. You know you stink when your crit is four. Square Bunny should ember him straight out of here, and that burn will not be enough. Oh, all right. My dude is going to have... I mean, right now he has zero leg muscle, but by the end of this, Square Bunny is going to have killer calves because he is bouncing. Non stop. He doesn't take a break. Squobit goes down. Square Bunny goes up. Cool. I do have some potions if need be. Dude, that sounds like an elephant. That doesn't sound like a Wooloo. Come on, Zach. That Wooloo might be in real trouble. All of a sudden, we got like weird Dragon Ball Z music. Really foggy. 
About to run into E.T. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Team Yell? We're going to get ambushed by a... <gasps> no way! No way! What in the... Whoa. Bow in the presence of greatness. And we don't even know what this dude is at this point, although it kind of looks a little, a little messed up, if I'm honest. How am I supposed to fight this thing? This is silly. Is it a mirage? The mysterious Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you. What? The move had no effect on it. Great, I'm just going to keep tackling and embering and doing nothing. Whoa. Building the fog. And, uh, Zach, I can't see anything. You okay? I guess we just... Let's growl? I don't know. Sound a little scary? It doesn't affect anything. The move has no effect. This dude is just building the fog to the point of ending the battle? I can't see anything! Okay, we're still here. Kind nope, we're not. The battle has been canceled. Unfortunately, there is a weather delay in the Pokemon battling system. We regret to inform you that you'll have to return at a later date and time. We've been KO'd by a legendary wolf. Hop! Zack! Whoa, Lee, how'd you man to manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. Aww, meh. The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. Oh, B. But it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that Wooloo's alright, Yazak? I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in that mad Pokemon attacked, but at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Your moves passed right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wield, are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. I wonder if this is where we come back for the legendary eventually. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience! This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Walked into foggy woods, couldn't find Wulu, got attacked by Mirage. <laughs> Doesn't sound all that intimidating, Hop. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Don't want to get another scolding here in Postwick. Time to go inside and tell our mother that we're leaving home. Probably, probably like age 11 or something. 12. Fire! Well now, isn't Squirrel Bunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Score Bunny will bow to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. Ah! And you, Score Bunny, look after my little Zack. Come home to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west. Home is best. Write it on the billboard. Thanks, Mom. All right, we're ready to go, Hop. Let's have at it. Everybody is ready to go to Wedgehurst, which I'm going to guess is this way, as we cannot control the camera, but we can control our destiny. Can I have some Pokeballs, please? Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having it battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great white, red and white ball. 
Mark out in front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Murder! I just want some Pokeballs. Oh, shoot! Another Squobit. This time he's visible. I cannot catch, but I will crush. Sorry, my dude. Ember is effective. Not even halfway home, okay. A little butt dance to show who's boss, I guess. So far, so good. I mean, it still is a slow start, I guess. But as long as it picks up and we don't have to stay here for a couple hours, I am a happy camper. I just need those Pokeballs so I can build my team out. Don't think I want Squobin on my team, but obviously I will go for the catch if I can. Finish him. Flawless victory. All right, Squobit has been shrunk. Squirtle should l not level up, but close. All right, cool. I'm really happy with my choice. There's a Wooloo. There's a Chickadee. There's a Potion. And I'm not gonna bother because I can't, I can't catch any of you. Unless you're gonna give me a Pokeball right here. Paralyze heals. Ooh, I wanna... F What's this one? This is a new dude. <gasps> it is Nicket. It's a little fox. A little fox with a freaking beautiful eyeliner, dude. Makeup mastery. This dude was discovered at Sephora. All right, cute. Nicket used quick attack, and he nicked us. Look at that tail. He's like kind of painterly. Also kind of like a squid or something of the sort. Wow, Ember, not very effective. Let's tackle this level fiver. Remember, once we get to the wild area, we can find Pokemon that are way above our level. Or way below, I guess. All right. Probably gonna take two more attacks to finish them off. But anyhow, that'll be kind of cool just to, like, come across guys that are tricky, difficult, hard, crazy, you know? Pokemon was hit once. Score Bunny will tackle and finish the fight. And that should definitely push us to level 8, which is nice. Hey, hey. Level up. And I learned Quick Attack. Good. I Just stealing the move straight from the Nicket, right? We nicked it from the Nicket. Get it? <laughs> Wing. All right, we got some spare change. There's a Charizard just chilling. The ultimate Charizard. The champion's here. Leon, my boy. Well done. You reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. You did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown. All thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. And Charizard says Grar in a British accent. Wow. Look at that angle. I've got to give it to the Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fan fascinating. Also fantastic. But work. It's a yamper. He's so chubby. Little corgi Pokemon. What is it today, Leon? Oh, it's her. Looking for info on another never-before-seen super-strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. This is Misty's sister. Not really, but kind of looks like it, right? Good to see you too, Yampa. Yampa, he has a real chat when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. Tss, what kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Hey, 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 I'm Sonia. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. Listen to my song. This is Zack. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would ya? Yeah. Nice little uh, sound effects. Sai, what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Hey. Bzz. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So do tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Thank you. Just so you know, 
That Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house down along Route 2. Alright. Sounds good. I wonder if I picked no. I don't know if they would have started going through a bunch more tutorials. I'm not quite sure, but... Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? That means you got a Pokedex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. You got a potion. I've already got those, sir. Thanks, though. You put the potion in the medicine pocket. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP get... Yeah, we know what, we know what potions are. Knowledge is power. Reading is good. Don't forget your rules. Is this Granny's house on Route 2? That rather grand building is the research lab. Oh, she's down at the far end. Alright, sounds good. You have a very small house. You don't even have a bedroom. Wooloo, Wooloo, he's our boy. If he can't do it, don't have any joy. This guy's selling train tickets. Oh, this is the Pokemart. I am here to buy. And I am not here to buy. Maybe Grandma Grouper is going to give me the freaking... Uh, the train has been delayed. Great. Grandma is going to give me some Pokeballs, I hope. Since nobody wants to. Got your Pokedex, Got your Pokedex from Sonya. <laughs> it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Come on, Zach. Bet you never been inside one. Oh, isn't it grand? Level with me, Zach. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Yes. Then the future champions got you covered. This. First things first, you talk to the lady at the counter if you want your Pokemon healed up. Next. Pokemon you catch are kept in computers, like the one you can find here. After all, you can only bring six Pokemon on the road in your party. The potions they sell at the Pokemart got me out of a real rough spot the other day. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers, I'm already good though. I'm heading to Route 2, Zach. Come find me maybe when you're done. Peace out, Hoplicious. Sounds good. Cool. You got any Pokeballs here? Nope. Okay. You suck. Foo foo. I have one Pokemon. There's no point in anything except Pokeballs at this point. This month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Dude, tell me my fortune. Tom, what's the month I was born? December. What day was I born? 13. I got it. Your birthday is 1213. Yes. You were born 1213. Your fortune is... Let's see here. What's that stain here? Oh, this must be for my snack. The page is smudged and I can't really read it. Ahem. People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even run into a legendary Pokemon or maybe not. Wow. Thanks for the nebulous non-existent fortune. I want to shop at Skaloshal. Apparently I can't. But I could buy clothes. But I can't buy clothes yet, because I need Pokeballs. Listen, Zach, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the Gym Challenge. The Gym Challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champ. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part, too. A proper rival is just a thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger, after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams a chance to train up a bit along the way. My team is a team of one. It's not really a team, it's more of a freaking unit. Do you have Pokeballs? Sonya and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... Leon loves Pokemon in battles. I remember he would always go out, even on practice matches on Sonya. Then we got a dog and it left us. Can I have your Wooloo? Dope, dope, dope. This man thinks it's really funny. Alright. Gotta be knowledgeable. You see that house in the distance? With the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon professor lives. Cute. Okay. Steep stairs. And no chance for me to Pokeball. Unless Hop wants to hook it up. Over here, Zach. Maybe this is the hookup. Alright, Zach. It's time we filled in our teams. Yes. Leon is here to teach us how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make it good against some opponents, but poor against others. 
That's the reason you'll want to catch a different Pokemon, to cover one another's weaknesses. Now, let's all have a champion time as I show you how it's done. Can, can you not? I know how to catch. I promise I know how. I don't... Okay. Uh, rocket. He's got a Rookity? This is the way a real champion does it. Slowly chooses the bag. Slowly rotates to Pokeball. Slowly uses this item. Falls asleep from boredom. Catches the Hulu. Wow, wow, wow. Wulu was caught. Do I get this gifted Wulu, please? Because Hop already has one. Typical Lee. He caught a baby Wulu. I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch. Almost like they're itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? 20! Thanks, man. The Pokemon on your team will get XP points when you catch Pokemon, too. And of course, they get experience points from battle, so take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Run away! What is he doing all this free time? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. Press will be shocked. I'll see you there. Peace. Okay. I want this one. Thank you, Nicket, with your mascara eyeliner eyes. Score Bunny is ready to settle the score. Haha. Uh -huh. I guess I could have uh, healed up to get my five damage back, but I'm not too concerned about it. Although he just did five more. Ember, not going to do a ton. Um, let's see if our quick attack is quicker than his quick attack. It is. Brilliant. Nick, it's gonna quick it again. This time only for three damage, and it's time to pull out the legendary ball of Pokey. Or it really was a ball of Pokey. Heck yeah, Nick, it was caught. Nab that Nick, it. Wonderful. His data was added, my Pokemon gained XP, and we're good to go. Rotom says, Aided by the soft pads on its feet, it silently raids the food stores of other Pokemon. It survives off of its ill-gotten gains. Dark type. Nicket. Nicket, the dark fox Pokemon. Who is this mysterious face? It's a Rookity, but it's the Rookity that I want, because it's mischievous and angry. All right. Let's give it a little tackle. We're level 8, so this might kill it. I'm hoping not, though. Stop. Beautiful. He's using Power Trip. Dealing uh, no damage to me, but that's okay. How did I get 25? I thought he said he gave me 20. So how did I end up at 25? That's weird. Rookity was caught. Beautiful. Everybody gains XP, thanks XP chair. Been a long day, man. Long morning, I guess. Rickety's data will be added to the Pokedex. It will bravely challenge any opponent, no matter how powerful. This Pokemon benefits from every battle, even a defeat increases its strength a bit. Would you like to give Rookity a nickname? Nah, it's okay. Rookity has been added to your party. Okay. I got Rookity. I got Nickit. I guess just to be complete with this area, we can grab a Squobit. I don't really like you. Your chubby cheeks are a bit too much. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Um, but I will tackle you, and then I will tickle you, and then I will take you for my own. Actually, if he's going to tell up just to be safe, I can probably tackle again and then, then go in for the grab, right? Grabarella. Cool. He is going to tackle, but it's okay. Alright. Um, straight in the bag with a Pokeball, and our team will be four before you know it. Get it? Before I get to Professor Magnolia. 
These early stage Pokeballs are almost guaranteed catches, so it's nice not to have to worry. It's also nice not to have to motion aim the Pokeball throw, if you remember that from last year's Let's Go. Alright. Squobit gets added. He's not nicknamed. He is what he is, and that's all he can be. Oh. Oh, no. It's a six-year-old boy. It's a trainer. It's a six-year-old man. It's a Benjamin Button victim. It's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Okay. Sword and shield! Youngster Jake, my younger brother. This is brilliant. My younger brother is here to defeat me with the Squo, but if it's below level 10, I'm not worried. Score Bunny says, sup, at level 8, and this dude... Oh, level 6? Okay. Okay, it's not so bad. Quick attack is pretty good. He's gonna tackle. It's gonna take me down. Wow. Okay. It's time for a potion. Score bunny, eat your cereal. Mmm. Soak up that milk. Squobit blows the open opportunity. Tail whips us to take down our defense, prepping for, I guess, a bigger attack. Whoops. Let it burn. All right, wow. It's gonna take three full attacks to finish this guy off as he continues to siphon my defensive energy. I don't understand. What are you gonna do with that? Brilliant. Squobit goes down. Trainer Jake is sad. Riggedy levels up. And uh, he says, Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. It's almost like he's a victim of his place in society. A route starer, you know? Very inflexible with the um, path navigating, by the way. Pathfinding. I got two potions. Trainer tips. Okay. XP is shared. Nice. That's another fox. That's three Pokeballs. This is another trainer lady. Cute and strong together in combo. It's last schoolgirl, last Lauren. She's got a Chudo, which looks like a freaking awesome Pokemon. I need that guy in my life eventually. I don't know where he found him. Looks like by the bay, by, by the riverbank. You know how that goes. Um, he is looking like a water boy, so, um, oh, he's going for a little tackle action. He critted me. He looks watery, doesn't he? I mean, let's try Ember, I guess, just to see. Yep. He's a water boy. I'm betting. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, get back on track with a little quick attack. Oh, one more. Choodle is trying to chew into our health. Beautiful. That's it. Choodle goes down. Last Lauren is sad. And we are about to level straight up. Ha! Hoo! Ha ho! Ten, six, and more. I love it. You defeated last Lauren. Are we cute and nothing more? Goodness gracious, she's having an existential crisis and it's only Route 2. Alright. Another... Oh, look at this, man. Okay. You're gonna really make me burn another potion, I guess? Um... I don't really like burning potions, but let's use Nicket just for somebody different. Since everybody just, sh we just share XP anyways. It's for something cool. You got a mystery gift? Nothing yet. But this boy says, battle me. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. Wow, well, if you couldn't beat Hop, man, I got news for you, Hop. Um, <laughs> I, I ate Hop for breakfast. Benjamin's got a Blit Bug, another new Pokemon with really goofy eyes. Both the last Choodle and this guy have goofy eyes. We're gonna use a dark move right away. Nicket uses beat up and does basically 
Okay, solid damage. Impressive damage. Maybe moving towards a KO, but four hits feels nice. He used Struggle Bug. Wow, a very effective attack. A super effective, some may say. My special attack fell, so that's okay. I'll get rid of Beat Up. And we'll quick attack the Blip Bug. And almost kill him. He's gonna Struggle Bug us again. Pretty darn effective. Special attack falling. And we'll end it with a quick one more time. Poor youngster facing the same fate from both Hop and I. Sorry, buddy. Everybody's gaining experience points. Everybody's moving on up. And Benjamin is about to send in Nicket. Um, Alright, he's bringing in Nicket of his own. So let's bring in Score Bunny. Just to, you know, settle this score quickly. If you know what I mean. Don't want to have to delay getting the professor. We want to definitely see her before this episode ends. Quick attack. Sweet. It's a battle of the speed demons. Who can speed more? Don't get a ticket, though. I've never gotten a ticket. Knock on wood. Let's go find a wood Pokemon. Or knock on the trees that we can eventually shake in the wild area. Hey, hey! Alright, everybody's leveling up, and Squirrel Bunny isn't looking too far ahead. Nicket learned Hone Claws, Rookity grew to level 7, and uh, Benjamin uh, goes bye bye Lose the wild Pokemon, lose the trainers. Maybe you shouldn't carry so much money, you should give up this game, huh? Sorry to say it. Pokepad. And a bench. Chill on the bench. Wow, that was nice. Did time pass, or am I cr Okay. Leon and Magnolia are ready to roll. Look, there's the professor! So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Meh. Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. She's the oldest Pokemon professor I've seen. She's got a, what, is that Corviknight cane? Why, well, Hop, dear, I see Wudu has made some new friends. And you must be Zack. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Zack? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. And it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamax into the fullest. There you go again, Leon, always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. Green, chamomile, passion. Black, chai. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Lee, why won't you endorse them? Hop and Zack only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet, Gran. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have someone in the Gala- Everyone in the Gala region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goes precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Well... Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Bing, 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 and bing. Dude's like EGAD on that touch. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Zach. Okay, um, well, Pokey Professor Magnolia, you got anything cool? Give it everything you got! Okay, not really. She has a cool house, though. And she's got one of them little guys over there. Who's this, her husband? Do what plants would want instead of what you would want. Keep that in mind and plant... Okay. Um, maybe that's just her caretaker? I am not sure. But it's time to tango with Hop once again. Hurry it up, Zach. You've got to battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. This is not going to end well, Hop, but okay. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to Lee we've got what it takes. Okay. 
Time to high step over hop. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. <laughs> On guard, it's Grookey. And Wooloo. And probably Rookity. Leaving with that Wooloo, just like last time. Ready to make the same mistake twice. What a goob. I'm going Nick it and not Squirrel Bunny. I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but um, he's going to put us to the test, so we'll find out. Wooloo is level a, whop a whopping level 6. Let's Hone Claws. What does this do? Um, our attack grows, and our accuracy. Wooloo will roll into a ball and try to practice bowling here on the Pokey Mat. All right, beat up is effective and it should be honed. So hopefully this does significant damage. A little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, and a little bit more. Four hits. Wooloo will growl. More like a bray or a nay or a ba, but it's okay. Finish him. Not quite. We're gonna get growled at again. Not a good feeling, to be really honest with you. Our attack fell, so now our attack is reduced to below where it was after an increase, a decrease, and now another decrease. And that's why it slowly sucked the rest of Wooloo's health out of Hop's system. Everyone's gaining XP and feeling good about themselves. Rookity is really growing up. Rookity is honing his claws. Are they both dark types? I mean, it's silly not to use Score Bunny in this instance. We're not going to make things more difficult than we need to. It's a Grass-type Pokemon who has familiarity with Score Bunny. Also, Score Bunny's level 10. I, I guess we don't know what group he's at, but it's 8. Super effective. That's the move he did not want. Well, look at you. Seems you've really learned your type matchups. I'm, I'd like to think that's like an automatic check, and if you don't know what you're doing, they tell you about it a bit. I don't know. Beautiful. Grookey goes goodbye. Good night. Good luck. Everybody is leveling up. Look at this. Nick it. Squove it. The score bunny. Everyone's doing dance. Here comes Rookity. You want to fight Rookity or the Rookity? Oh, we'll just whatever. We'll just, we'll just eviscerate with the score bunny. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Oh, yeah, so close. I have four Pokemon. You have one. Close. The mirage of closeness. Rookie's making me too nervous to eat berries. Mm. Wow, that was nice. Ember again. And Rookity is out of here. So is Hop. We have hopped on Pop once more and put this thing. It's obvious who should be endorsed for the gym challenge, my dude. Oof. Gutted that I lost, but I'd expect nothing less from my rival. He got $640 from our friend. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect, too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? If you say so. Now, Magnolia. Make me a magician. And get this goofy Leon guy off my back. Zack, Hop, well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've got little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Thanks for the fake badge to letter of endorsement that's invisible. Not only did I use invisible ink, I used invisible paper. You put the letter of endorsement in your bag, key item pocket. Ah. Oh. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge just to reach you. You may be both young still and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Zack. Wow, alright, Zack. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for the champion's title. Sounds good, dude, but I got the lead, so don't get bitter. 
The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? Okay. Dynamax crystals. Zack, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. Oh, thanks. I guess they're not crystals. You put the wishing star away. Oh. With one of these, my Pokemon can die. Oh, it is for Dynamaxing. They're going to be massive, yes? Uh-oh. Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Eh, don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. Ah, right. You've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Zack and me the power to Dynamax our Pokémon. First, we got a battle against that mad Pokémon in the Slumbering Wheel, and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the friendship of a lifetime. I, I do understand, Hop, your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Hop's like, I love curry! Or I just love you. And there we go. That's how they cook. Play a little tune. Make a little beat. No mess. No tummy troubles. It's digested and clean. It's morning at last and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Err, well, there was weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon. But Zack and I tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy, get it? <laughs> A right fount of information you are. Zack, Hop, these are for you. What, what'd she give me? Dynamax bands! Alright, a wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Cool. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help fill out your Pokedex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Zack. I'll beat you to the station. Oh, we're just done talking to her? Hmm, okay. Well, it, I mean, there's obviously still some exposition and some slow buildup, but there's not too much tutorial. Like, they didn't really show us, like, how to catch a Pokeball. I mean, sort of, I guess, they did, but it wasn't too egregious. They definitely showed us. Correction, they definitely showed us. But it was pretty quick. Don't be afraid, go yada yada, go around, run around town, Sonya. She's got an uneasy feeling about the strange Pokemon in the slumbering wield. Hop is. One last thing before we race, Zach. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wandering about out of the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow, like, and crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay you any notice. 
tiptoe, tiptoe. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. How clever. Try it out. Let's see if you can catch the most Pokemon, Zack. You remember Wedger Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before. That'll be the goal, so see you there. Alright, I gotta get this Crawdaddy or whatever he's called. No, not that one. Uh, not a Rookity. Not a Squovit. Didn't you... Wasn't there one of those little, like... Blue guys? Uh, part of me wants to just walk into this lake. But it will not let me. Okay. Oh, there he is. Come to Papa. We found him. Yeah, the angry turtle. It's a wild chewtle. That's what it's called. It's like a chew toy, but you don't want to chew on the top because... Ooh, yeesh. Ooh, yeesh. That looks painful. Alright, beat up should take him down hopefully pretty low. This guy does seem to have good defense. We're bonking his head quite a lot, but he is not stopped. The Pokemon was hit four times, and he still has enough sense to tackle us. I love how his brow furls. You see that little, little eyebrows like, Mrr. Somehow we have more Pokeballs. I don't know where we're getting them from, but okay. We just magically have 25 again. The game just keeps giving us more and more. How does 40 Pokeballs sound? Gotcha. Choodle was caught. Wonderful. Everyone gained XP. And, um, all right, enough, enough song and dance with Nickit. I want to know about Choodle. He's water. Apparently the itch of its teething impels it to snap its jaw. Okay. I really want to see what Choodle evolves into. Some Pokemon that has, uh, teeth, teething issues, clearly. Um. Cool, there we go. All right. I think we caught... All there is to catch in this region. Squovits, Rookities, Choodles, Nickets, right? A Yamper. My boy. My little chubster. My little chunky monkey. One day I'll have a puppy of my own, but until then, I'll have a Yamp. Alright, let's burn this Yamper. I'm sorry, dude. You got a beautiful coat of fur. But I think you are my new electric friend. Uh, apparently, it didn't do a whole lot. You know what they say, a yamper a day keeps the saris away. Because we just feel a really nice sense of companionship and joy from having a puppy. And an infinite supply of Pokeballs. You use the Pokeball. Put him in your place. Big disgrace. Leaving Yamper poops all over the place. That's probably gonna happen, whether we like it or not. It's just an inevitability. And it's not even the dog's fault. It's just gonna happen. Rickety grew to level 9. And I think um, Yamper is added to the Pokedex. It is electric. It's kind of fat. 30 pounds. That's a lot for a little small pup. Okay, Yamper's still on our party. I think we can access our box at any time. I'm not sure. Blipbug is the only guy we have seen but have not caught, right? What was that? Oh, Shurikidi. It looked a little odd, didn't it? <gasps> it's a Galarian Zigzagoon! Get him! 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 My first Galarian form! Yeah! It's a wild Zigzagoon, but the Galarian edition. Oh, Obstagoon is pretty cool. Let's try not to kill it! Alright, so these are all the Pokemon you can find, I guess, really early on, or at least a majority of them. I feel like we've got a lot here. Um, can I... am I able to quick... I, I think there's a, a... oh, there's a quick last item. Nice! We can just Pokeball with the X button. That's really cool. I didn't know that was even an option. Alright. Yeah, buddy. Wonderful. Beautiful. Everyone's gaining XP. Sport Bunny is sneaking towards his second form, I'm guessing. Trudel grabs a little bit of love, and uh, Galarian Zigzadoon is added. It is a Galarian form, it says right there. A little bit of a thug. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. I did not mean. I don't. Uh, I don't want. I don't. Wait, what? 
Okay, I can send you a box. Oh yeah, I'm gonna add to my party. You know I'm gonna dump... It's Squovit. I'm sorry, Squovit. I don't like you, really. I don't know why. It just doesn't appeal to me. Alright, cool. We got the Zigzagoon. That's got... I mean, dude. Choodle's just wandering. I love the new faces, especially since I don't know what they are. Pretty freaking sweet. Okay. I think that's everything. It's interesting that it's all new Pokemon. I mean, that makes sense, right? They want Gen 8 to hit you in the face. The Zigzagoon isn't technically new, but his Galarian form absolutely is. So it makes sense to have him put there. All right, let's go back to Wedgers. What was that? I found a revive! Hi. I saw Hop sneaking up toward the station. Woo, Lou. Woo, woo, Lou. Wait, what? Did we go in here? Oh, yeah. This is about Sonya and Leon's rivalry. It was healthy, and then they fell in love or something, probably. Come on, Zack, and let her beat me at the station at that pace! Oh, yeah. We saw the station before. It's where we first tried to shop for Pokeballs, and we're denied. He's such a cute rival, because he just literally helps guide us where we need to go. Having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. That's... I don't know how true that is, but thanks for the polka doll. It's fun to do shopping in a boutique. Even getting a new hat can change your look. My beanie is feeling a little dusty. What do you got for me, fine young lady? Loose top, loose top. Okay. Hoodies, they're oversized, kind of cool. Different skinny jeans. Different socks. Different shoes, different bag. Well, still a, such a bulky bag, but... My, my scally cap. Oh my gosh, they're all different scally caps. I don't really like that. I wear gloves. I am going to buy a different backpack. I'm going to get this white and red bag. Thanks, man. Yeah, put it on. Cool. Um, Blue skinny jeans. Or do you want orange? Or purple. No. Or pink. Dude, you like the soundtrack? I'm going to get blue. Thank you for my that. I can wear a hoodie on top. Black hoodie. All right. We're going to be fashionable right from the start. Ain't got no time for that. Ready to go. My dude already looks good. Fancy and fine. And ready to uh, chase after Hop. Looking sweet. Customization, you know, doesn't mean a ton in the grand scheme of things. But it is nice to include, right? Hop says, so out with it, Zach. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. But look how many you caught. You're well on your way to building a fine team. Thanks for Swift. I appreciate the TM. I don't know why I got it, but thanks for the TM. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach you the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Motostoke. And our train's waiting, so let's... Yeah. Oh, oh. What's up? I saw Leon at the station. Oh, cute. Fangirls. In we go. The train is ready. Not quite so fast, you two. The mom squad has arrived. What are you doing here, mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Grookey as a partner. Wasn't that like three days ago? Wasn't that like three days ago or less? Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping! Wild Area Camping! Dang, Daniel, that is great. Everything you need to camp. Perfect. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner aren't together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mum. And just think how lucky you are. Mother, the first ever pair of champion brothers! We're not... Oh, Leon, I was gonna say, I'm not your brother. Because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back home anytime. We're off! 
Wish us luck, not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, Zack. Come on, we're off! Are we ready? Hello? Dude, look at this nice train. Tap our feet. Playing with our Rotom phones, Motostoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There's all sorts of wild poke. Oh, come on. Just wandering about everywhere you look. Oh, baby. Plus, you can camp out. Do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. Sweet. You think the wild area is right outside Motostoke? Yeah, I guess they said it was, right? Hey, Mr. Station Master. Isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes. This is the Wild Area Station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. Great. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. What is? This Wild Area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Cool. I mean, I guess this is where we're going to... Hey, have you and Eevee had a... No, it was just my imagination. What What? What the heck? A kiss? What, what was I about to say? It seems like my children are giving something to people who've had a let's go experience. But what in the world is a let's go experience? Do you have any idea? Oh, dude, I have a let... Oh, are you Pikachu? That's Eevee and Pikachu? Hey, have you and Pikachu had a... I knew it! You had a let's go experience with Pikachu, didn't you? <gasps> oh, yes, I got my Pikachu, and this is where we get it. Boom, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Beautiful. All right. Got a Pikachu. Instant add, thanks to my Let's Go. You get Pikachu, and it can't evolve, and you can get an Eevee, and it can't evolve. But I've got a Pikachu. Um. Oh, gosh. I don't really want to dump any of these guys right now. It's just a Pika Pika. That's okay. We'll just leave. We'll send Pikachu the box. Go to the box, my dude. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to. The Pikachu I gave you is very special. You should try Dynamaxing it! Sweet. It's a Dynamaxable Pikachu. You'll run into stronger wild Pokemon the farther you go. If you feel like you're in a pinch, just use a Poké Doll! Thanks for the Poké Dolls! Alright. No matter how strong a Pokemon, you'll be able to catch it eventually, so long as you join the Gym Challenge and gather the Gym Badges. So... Remind me, what does the Poké Doll do again? Oh, it guarantees escape. Okay. Bye bye. I can't believe the wild area is just right freaking here. That's pretty sick. I like that a lot. Welcome to the real reason. Oh, Gen 8 even exists. Oh, it's so brilliant. It's so massive. We have arrived. The wildest area of all. This guy looks like, hey, hi there. You want to rest? Yes, thanks. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. If I steal them, I'm sorry. There, they're all happy. I hope you enjoy. Ha 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 ha. Mew 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 mew. Bro oh my gosh, camera control. Oh my lordy. It's a real thing, my friends. Here's the wild area. Look at that. It's so big. That's Motostoke. Way off that way. And between there and here, are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello, and if it isn't Sonya. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing with your life? That sounds rough. Ouch, Professor. Ah, never mind that. Never you mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I have been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Grand will admit I've got some talent. Oh, it's one of those ordeals. Being an adult has got its own challenges. Eh. I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. 
Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm gonna battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the tale of my legend. Wait, what cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know? You'd better Dynamax your partner Pokemon too if you want to take on an opponent that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area that emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you up a little treat from me? A poke- oh yeah, heck yeah. Pokemon box link. The device that allows you- oh, we can access the Pokemon storage system from wherever we go. Some places it won't work though, maybe like inside gyms. With a Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes, or take Pokemon from your boxes to add them to your team. Nice, right? So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like, and fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. Okay, so there's max raid battles, there's wild Pokemon, there's Modestoke. Things have gotten real. And it only took us an hour. That's pretty fast, right? Pretty fast indeed. Brilliant. It's beautiful. The rolling... Okay. Eh. There's Pokemon. Everywhere. Wow. Oh. There's little goobers every which way. And there's max raid battles wherever we look. Huh. This is freaking incredible. All right. We, get, we gotta go, we gotta Dynamax, right? The pillars of red light you'll see in the wild area mark Pokemon dens. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens and you'll be able to battle them by investigating the den. Max raid battle, 300 W. Max raid battles, defeat a Dynamax Pokemon you'll get a chance of catching it. Additionally, there are some rare items that you can only obtain by battling Dynamax Pokemon. When wild Pokemon Dynamax become incredibly powerful, they may unleash multiple moves in a row, take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Working together... Okay, don't invite others. I'm ready to go. My logo looks sad as heck. I'm gonna have to change that at some point. But I'm not inviting others. I'm just getting randoms, I guess. And we're ready to see what this is all about. Pidov? This is a new Pokemon. I don't even know what this is. It's a Dynamax Pidov. Go, score bunny. Quillfish is Intimidate. Pidov's attack fell. Dynamax energy gathered round. Are you ready to battle? Okay. We've got a Jolteon on our side. I got a Dynamax, so we gotta go huge. And use that max freaking flare on Pit of. Why would I why would I attack my own quillfish friend? Here we go, the first time score bunny will sense this much power. Going Super Saiyan. Straight into battle. Super Saiyan is more like it. Like animal. The Muppets take Manhattan. And he gained X or he gained HP. He gained height. He gained a cloud around his head. And uh we're attacking Pit of super effective from Jolteon and Score Bunny use Max Flare, basically firing a lava beam out of our head. It did not do a lot of damage, sadly. But I guess it's okay. It did turn the sunlight very harsh. Pit of is using Max Strike. The evil pigeon he is. Almost killing Tiny Jolteon. Who's actually normal size Jolteon, but just looks tiny given the state of this Score Bunny. My brother Noah's Quillfish used that attack that did almost nothing. Adelmise did a little bit of damage, and now it's my turn again. Um, the sun is stronger, so let's see if Max Flare will work again. Oh, he nullified the stat changes and abilities of the Pokemon. And used Max Airstream to blaze out one of my assistants. Great. Thanks a lot, Pitov. Delmise fainted. And then there were three. The storm is growing stronger. That looks apocalyptic. Jolteon uses Swift, which is a little bit damaging. Score Bunny is using Max Flare again. The sun was supposed to be shining, but it sure doesn't... S oh, maybe it was shining a bit. That was a little more damaging. Quillfish is going to poison Pit up, and we might actually make it out of this one. I'm going to go with Max Strike just for something different. Should be enough to get the job done. Hit of though is uh, nullifying stat changes and abilities. So using taunt, 
right at score bunny. I fell for the taunt, but Jolteon just will finish the fight for us. Pit up goes up in flames. Okay, it's, it, it's so awesome because I love that not only do we get to defeat this, but we get to catch the Dynamax Pokemon. I'm sure it re re returns to its reduced size, but what a sweet set of rewards. You defeat a big bad, you put it in a giant disco ball, and then you not only get some rewards, but you get the Pokemon itself, which is such an awesome idea. I love this already. All right, thank you. There we go. Tinyify, and let me take it into my bag. Or my PC, since they're connected. Got XP candies, Triatex, Rare Bones, Kelpsy Berries, Iapapa Berries, Rare Candies, Dynamax Candy, XP Candy, XP Candies, XS, and Triatech. Heck yeah. Rotom is happy, and Pidov is ready to go. Where people go, these Pokemon follow. If you're scattering food for them, be careful. Several hundred of them can gather at once. Um, no nickname for the little Pidov. I'm going to send it to a box and figure out what I want to do with him later. Score Bunny has sensed the power of Dynamaxing, and now we're ready to go. Vulpix is here. Is that Max Raid Battle then gone for good? Oh, there's nothing in the den right there. There's Pokemon literally all over now. And I guess we can camp? Okay. It's a big fat bunny. I found a note! Use the right six row. <laughs> They're like, dude... You can rotate the camera and recenter it since you couldn't do this in any other Pokemon. Okay, so I want to just see what the variety is like. <laughs> Butterfree. Dude, the music is pretty epic. Kind of really like the music. Are there trainers to battle out here or are you just fishing? I fished up something brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Oh, I can pay for something? What'd I get? Three pearls for 100 watts. Oh. Oh, I can sell it. Okay. Wow. I'm not sure if that was worth it or not, but it's what we did. What is this guy? <gasps> it's a roly-coly! No, it's not. It's a wild dwebble. Score Bunny says hello. And we are going to snatch another Pokemon. This one's level 13. It's a little bit, a little bit tricky for us. Oh my goodness. Dwebble is bug biting us? Dude, a crab that can bite? That sounds awful. Not a fan. Will Ember, do you, gonna, do you care about being burned? A, a little bit. That bug bite attack, though, putting 9 damage on me real quick. I'm not I'm not liking that. I'm gonna Ember you one more time, and then I think we're gonna have to throw the Pokeball and hope that we get a catch. Seriously trying to shock Score Bunny straight out of the system. Um, let's swap first. Um, mm, sure. It's bringing a little bird magic. I feel like birds are good. They can pick crabs up. Not that that's going to happen in this game, but it's the right idea, right? Rickety used with draw. Oh, he's hiding in a, in a giant shell. That's nice. It's defense rose. Okay, well, let's, let's do a little more damage. Let's peck at it. My beak might break if I peck this rock. Okay, that's sad. I like this bug bite move. It's incredibly powerful. Even though it was not very effective. Alright, power trip. It's a dark move. Gonna deal any damage here? Barely any. This dude? Okay. I think it's time to go for the catch, because he is just defensively building up. He's armoring. Oh, I don't have to do this. I can just exit. Haha, <laughs> get it? Exit? Throw that Pokeball. Claim the Dwebble. Oh, wow. Dwebble, um... Dwebble didn't want to be in there at all. Rickety's keen eye prevents my accuracy from being loner lowered. Lonered. Might need to bring some Great Balls into this, uh, Great Wild area. I don't know. Let's give this one more go here. Wow. Okay. Smackdown. Oh, wow. Yikes. He, yeah. The Wild area is a dangerous... Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my next Pokemon. I'm gonna see what we can do here. Um I don't think beat up is gonna do a whole lot. Let's um let's bring in Yamper. Yamper's chubby, so I don't know, maybe he can resist a little bit of what this guy's got going on. Let's nuzzle him. 
Smackdown. Like, dude, that's a pretty... Yikes, that's a powerful attack. He's gonna two-shot me if I'm not careful. Not much damage, even though they claim it was critical. But I did get paralysis. Okay. And I'm ball-fetching. And I found a Pokeball, and we're gonna use that freebie to see if Paralyzed Webble is easier to catch. No. Thanks, man. Well, it can't move. All right. I'm just gonna keep um, nuzzling. I really want this Pokemon, and this is a great way to uh, conclude our big look at the game. Oh, never mind. I fainted. I thought he couldn't move. All right. Bring in Choodle. At least I've got a Pokemon Water Gun. This is my Water Boy. Do it for Adam Sandler. Let's go. Water Gun away. Come on. You're paralyzed. And I finally deal some significant damage. Bubble is paralyzed. I don't want to kill him at this point. I'm burning so many Pokeballs, but it's okay. Look, this is Pokeball 4. Okay. It just may not be a... It may just may not be happening. Okay. You're a jerk. Let's water gun him again. Whatever. I... <laughs> We weren't going to get out of that by getting Dwebble. We were going to get out of that by at least getting a lot of levels. Choodle is growing and learning Bite, which is good. Nicket is growing. Score Bunny is growing. And he wants to learn Double Kick, yes. Um, there is a move retrainer in this game, I believe, so that's nice. Double Kick, 30 power. I don't need... I don't really care about Tackle. Forget Tackle. Learn Double Kick. And we are ready to go. And with that, I think we'll wrap it up. The Wild Area seems magnificent. Plenty more to explore. Do you guys want to see it on the channel? Let me know your take in the comments down below. I'm loving this so far. Of course, there's a lot of familiar things that you find in Pokemon. But it also seems just super freaking cool. I don't know. Are there trainer battles? Who are you? I found a rare item. Yeah, what are you going to give me? An XP. Oh, we got to check out what these XP candies are. We got to check out what all this stuff does. And join. Yes. Thank you so much. We got a bunch of items to investigate. The Rolling Fields. A bunch of Pokemon. And a lot of leveling up to do. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know in your com the comments what you think of the game. If you want to see more, uh, maybe we'll make it happen. We've also got a lot of other games going on soon. So we'll have to keep that in mind and see what you guys think. Until that time, everybody, have a fantastic day.